Hi there Ray here, and in this video we are talking about dedicated GPUs and integrated GPUs, so in this video we will look at what are this GPUs capable of, and spoiler alert, one is a lot better than the other one, first let me explain what is the difference between the integrated GPU and the dedicated GPU, and if you look it as a definition in Google it says. A dedicated GPU has its own separate processor package, RAM, cooling, and circuit board. An integrated GPU sits inside the same microchip package as your CPU and also shares the same pool of RAM. So what does that mean? In simple words that means that the integrated GPU is part of the CPU and it is in the CPU, and what that means is that it shares its resources with the CPU, and what does that mean when it comes to performance? It affects the performance a lot, because now you use the same RAM for the things the CPU needs and the things that the GPU needs at the same time, so both of them are limited. Plus don't forget that when it comes to heat it is even worse, because they both heat up and since they both heat up the need to lower their performance so they don't damage the system. And now let's see the dedicated GPUs, and here we have something that has its own processor, it has its own RAM, it has its own cooling system and it has its own circuit board. So what does that mean? Well it has everything it needs and since it is made to run games and other specific programs, that means that everything designed about it, is designed to do those things. So when it comes to performance it is better, and since it doesn't put stress on the CPU even that will run better, but if the dedicated GPU is the answer for everyone then this video wouldn't be a lot longer, so if you want to know more about these two kinds of GPUs stay tuned and let's see what's up with them, but before this video starts I don't want any misunderstanding when it comes to performance we have a clear winner, and you might guess which one, yeah the dedicated GPU is a lot better, but let's look at the integrated GPUs and they have gotten a lot better and might make you think twice about a lot of things. So let's take a look at integrated GPUs versus dedicated GPUs. And without wasting more of your time let's start with integrated GPUs and what do we have here? Let's just see what this integrated GPU can do. And it can do a lot and when I say a lot, I mean you will be really surprised if you think that the integrated GPUs are useless. And now let's see why. In the past years the integrated GPUs have gotten a lot better and they can do a lot, I mean let's just see what are they capable of, and they are capable of everyday work like watching videos, browsing the web and things like that, but you might be surprised to know that they can even manage a little bit of games, so what do I mean when I say they can run games, I mean don't get me wrong you won't play games at 4k and you will not even play new games at full hd, but if you are a casual gamer you can have a lot of fun playing games, if you are someone who plays old games, again you will be happy with what you get, and if you want to play some games that are relatively new if you set your graphics to low then some of your favorite games can run, now like I said, it will not run every game properly, and if you are a serious gamer then this will not get the job done, but if you don't mind low frame rates and if you don't mind low settings and graphics, then you don't need anything better and just so you get. How powerful the integrated GPUs are nowadays, listen to this, integrated GPUs nowadays sometimes are better than some really old GPUs and you can check that in other people's videos or on Google, but for the sake of not making this video too long I will not get into more detail about that, just know that if you think of getting some old GPU, check the spec of your integrated GPU, you might not even need it, it can save you some money, and it is better for the environment, because you aren't buying e-waste, and now let's look what are the dedicated GPUs capable of, and they are capable of doing everything you want a GPU to do because they are full GPUs, so of course they will do everything you want them to do, but it depends on what GPU you have, and don't get me wrong, the dedicated GPUs perform a lot better but depending on what you want to get from the GPU, you might want to spend more or less, just hear me out what I mean by saying that, a GTX 1660 Super is better than integrated GPUs, so you can get a lot out of this card, but if you want 100 plus frames per second, or if you want to play at 4K, then my friend this is not the GPU for you, you will need something better, maybe you could benefit from getting an RTX 4090, but the same goes for the RTX 4090, it is a great GPU but if you are just a casual gamer and don't do any kind of real work on your PC then buying a GPU like this is just a waste of money, I mean if you have the money then you do what you want to do, but if you don't need it then you don't need it, so depending on the games you play and on the way you want to play the games you might want to check what are the GPUs capable of and buy one that satisfies your needs, so you don't spend more money than what you need and so you don't buy a GPU that cannot handle your favorite games, but the same goes for integrated GPUs, 
I know I said that the integrated GPUs are capable of casual games, but I would highly recommend to check the CPU. You want to get and see if it can handle the games you want to play casually, because it might and it might not. I would recommend you check them depending on the deals you find on CPUs, but like the dedicated GPUs the integrated GPUs are sometimes good and sometimes bad they can run games sometimes and sometimes they just don't. They don't do almost anything so just because a CPU was made in the last couple years it doesn't mean it has good integrated graphics, that's just something to keep in mind. And now before we continue to anything else let's look at the benefits one provides over the other and you might get surprised to know that the integrated GPU has a lot of benefits over the dedicated GPU so stay tuned for that. But before that let's start with the dedicated GPU so we can get that out of the way. And like we mentioned before when we talk about the dedicated GPU here we can see that this provides a lot of performance so the benefits are that it can run games smoother. It can render videos a lot faster. It can do everything the integrated GPU can but does everything a lot better and it can do things that the integrated GPU cannot. So this is basically the benefit it provides it is just a lot of performance. So if you want performance and don't want to compromise on that get a dedicated GPU that is simple. But since it does everything the integrated GPU does and more and does those things better what can the benefits of the integrated GPU be and now let's get into that. Let's start talking about integrated GPUs and here let's start talking about price. Well no matter what GPU you get, if you want the best performance to get the most out of it you will need a good CPU, but if you get a good CPU you don't need a GPU at least not for the things we mentioned so you will save the money you would spend on the GPU, now money is the first, second, it's power consumption, now when we talk about power consumption when it comes to PCs it doesn't make that big of a difference, the power bill might be a little bit more expensive, but other than that it will not affect your day to day life. But if we look at laptops it is a completely different story, because when we buy a laptop we want a device that is portable we want a device that we can use for hours anywhere we might find ourselves at. So in this case the dedicated GPU is bad for three reasons first the dedicated GPU takes up some space in the laptop, so that means that if a laptop has a dedicated GPU, the laptop is bigger than a laptop with the same hardware but without the dedicated GPU, that was the first. Second the GPU generates a lot of heat so sometimes it can be uncomfortable because unlike the PC, you are really close to the system. And third and the most important in my opinion is the battery life. And I know when you don't need the performance the dedicated GPU isn't activated so the battery doesn't suffer as much but in most cases as long as you need some performance the dedicated. GPU is activated automatically and that can drain the battery really quickly, so this is one of the cases I can think when the integrated GPU is better but when we take a look at the PC side there are a few advantages to getting just a good CPU with integrated graphics. First is money which for most people is the main reason and I know that you can get a cheaper GPU but I would suggest to get better CPUs with better hardware and without dedicated GPUs, and there is a good reason for that. First your system is future proof and I don't like to use that term but you will use your parts a few years more if you have more RAM or a better power supply because when you get just whatever you need when you upgrade you tend to change those parts a lot. But when it comes to the GPU just use the dedicated GPU for a couple of weeks or months until you save up some money and get a GPU that you will use and be happy with its performance because that way all of your system will be better all around. And I know sometimes you are in a budget and cannot spend more but I would suggest when buying a PC on a tight budget to go with this idea in mind. And now before we decide which is better let's just see once more what are the benefits of one over the other, and let's start with integrated GPUs, and the good things about this are that it has some performance, you can still manage to do a lot of things here than we can manage to make smaller systems with integrated GPUs, and then the systems with integrated GPUs are a lot cheaper and they need a lot less energy to use plus they don't generate as much heat as a dedicated GPU, but when we look at the dedicated GPU and the benefits it provides, there is only one, it has performance and that's it, and as per the winner, well it depends on what you need but still when it comes to the GPU, we get that only for the performance so even though the integrated GPU has a lot of benefits over the dedicated GPU it still doesn't compare to it when it comes to performance and if you use your system for any kind of serious work you will go with a dedicated GPU. And with that said thanks for watching this video if you like this video like if you didn't dislike, if you want to see more videos like this watch another video in my channel and subscribe so you don't miss other new videos. Tell me your ideas about this video down in the comments and if you want to see any kind of video tech related make sure to comment down below and I might cover it. And with that said this was Ray and I hope I will see you in the next one.